Closing market comments for Tuesday, November the 17th. Grains were sharply higher today, led by the soybean complex overnight. Strength in the bean market continues on rumors of China being in to buy corn and soybeans. Talk of nine cargoes of corn and five cargoes of soybeans, but no confirmations were released today. USDA did announce the sale of 195,000 metric tons of corn to Mexico, but nothing to the, uh, to the Chinese at this time. Uh, <coughs> the market did show some strength today on uh, talk of dry weather continuing in Brazil. We are starting to see some damage, as was mentioned yesterday. They were replanting 740,000 acres in Mato Grosso. Also, talk now about the Safrina double crop corn being planted later and causing more concern of that, along with lower yields on the first crop. Dr. Cardanier did lower his corn estimate in Brazil from 110 million metric tons to 106. He left his soybean estimate unchanged at 132 million metric tons. Last trading day on Friday for options on December puts and calls. So if you have a December option, you need to be out by the close of trade on Friday. Funds were strong buyers today, as would be expected, buying 8,500 contracts of soybeans, 4,000 contracts of corn, 35 or 4,000 contracts of uh, soybean meal, 2,500 contracts of soybean oil. They did sell 3,500 contracts of wheat on the day. In other news, uh, Citibank released a comment that uh, looking at the markets, they were thinking that with the COVID vaccine coming that they're talking about, we could see a drop in the U.S. dollar of 20%. Not sure what they're basing that off of, but a drop of 20% in the dollar would be a huge value to exports on grains and livestock meats uh, out of the country. So it would be very positive for agriculture if it would happen. Otherwise, uh, not a lot else to be talked about in the market today. We did gap higher last night. We'll have to see whether we can hold that or have to try and go back and fill those gaps. The gap on corn is at 416 and three quarters. The gap on soybeans was at 1155 and three quarters. So we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, again, markets continue strong. You might want to be looking at new crop soybeans for next fall. We were over $10 today. And we have new crop corn getting close to the $4 cash price. So might want to consider looking at putting some orders in there. A good opportunity to get started on both possibly. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.